What's going on guys? Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care. I am so excited about today's video. I am so excited about what I got standing right in front of me. When picked it up on Thursday of last week, uh, just now getting to film the video and everything, been busy. Uh, haven't got to use it on anybody's yard yet. I've been messing around with it here around the house, been messing around with it at my house, mowing the grass over there. And uh, so I'm about to flip the camera around and show you what it is and everything. I'm sure you already seen it by the thumbnail and title, but I'm real excited about it and uh, ready to get into it. All right, there it is. 2020 X Mark Starus E Series stand on mower 32 inch deck on there uh, it's a 2020 and it's got a kawasaki fs 600 v pretty good size mower uh motor for this size mower i think uh and it zips too buddy it'll get on it'll get up and go um so quick little walk around here this is the back this is where you stand up on so you just put your feet right there lean up to the front and drive it like this or like that's the good reverse forward that's your blades throttle choke key and uh here's a little uh thing you can put in to cut your to put lights on or anything like that just a little accessory there also has a place to put a 12 volt uh accessory there too got the good old goodman lawn care sticker on the side there got another one on this side and so pretty neat pretty neat and this pulls up and that's your belts and everything like that right there and of course there's a motor oil filter over there and uh here's your gas tank here this is one thing i really really like about this motor motor compared to my x mark laser z's is it has a uh gas gauge like this uh this is more i trust this more than i do a digital one like it is on the laser z's and stuff like that so really really like this motor so far like i said i hadn't really had a chance to mess around with it and uh i've messed around with it but i hadn't really had a chance to uh use it in anybody's yard or anything like that um but really really excited about it like I said, it's a 32 inch deck. The reason I got the 32 inch was because main the main reason I got this mower in general was to go in backyards and places that I had to push mow. And this will save me time on push mowing and save me energy too. So uh, this will be a really, really good long-term purpose uh, purchase here. So I've showed you the blades. I've showed you the throttle. I've showed you the choke. I've showed you the parking brake. I've showed you how to drive it. Now you're probably wondering where to put the deck up and down. How do you do it? So this is one of the downsides about this mower is this deck. Uh, they make one that's a little bit better than this one, uh, but this is this is the one I've got. I did buy this used. Uh, I say used. Uh, it only has 5.5 hours on it. When I bought it, it had three and a half hours on it. Um, so. I say used, but it's fairly new. Um, so back to the deck, what I was saying was to lower this deck, you have to pick up on this and then move this back at the same time. And I can't do it cause I only have one hand. Um, but, and you have to do the same thing on this side. So you pick up this and you move that and then that drops the deck down. And you can see it's dropped down now. So to pick it back up, I have to do the same thing. And now it's back into transport. So that's probably the one thing that I don't necessarily like about it. Um, and so you're, another thing I'm, you're missing is how do you do the height? Well, that's where these pins right here come into hand. You have to pull these pins out and look on this chart right here and it tells you what hole is what height and everything like that so it only goes by one 
uh, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. And so that's how that does right there. So, and then it doesn't even go that high on the front ones. That's just the back ones. So that's how that works and everything like that. Um, like I said, that's one thing that I don't necessarily love about this deck and about the mower and everything uh, is the way you do it. It's manual. Uh, I don't really like that. You know, on the Xmart Laser Z, you put your foot on the pedal and uh, remove the uh, lock, put it out of lock position, let off the pedal, and then blade, and it drops down. So that's the way to do that. Uh, wish that had some. Wish this mower had something like that, but it doesn't. Is what it is. Still going to serve the same purpose. Still going to do me just as good. It's just going to take a little bit more time to lower the deck. So. Not that big of a deal, uh, but that is something that I wanted to mention and everything like that. Uh, this is not really a review. This is just more of me giving you a walk around of the mower and everything like that. I've never used one of these uh, up until now, and so I can't really give you a review on it because I don't know what to review on it. So, like I said, just giving you a little quick little walk around a minute. I'm going to go get my tripod in just a second and uh, give you kind of a rundown of how to run it and everything like that. And I might mow a couple strips somewhere just so you can see it run and see it in action and everything like that. And then next week, I'm going to get a video out of me actually using it. And uh, you'll actually get to see it mowing and everything like that. So uh, that'll be pretty cool. And if you notice, these tires are the same. Everything is an even 32 on this mower. Um, these tires are real narrow, so that way... It'll fit through the back gates real, real easy. Oh, and you notice I have the mulching kit on here. It actually came with the mulching kit and I also got it with the chute, the, the regular chute. And then I also have a bagger to go on here. So a bagging system. So um, I can mulch it, bag it, or just shoot it out the side like normal. A lot of options with that, pretty neat. I'm real excited about the bagger actually. That's gonna come in handy during leaves. And this mulching kit does really good too with leaves. So uh, real excited about that. Everything is gonna just, this mower is gonna serve a lot of purposes and it's gonna do me a lot of good. And uh, I think it was just a really good investment myself. So um, give you another walk around here, all the way around it so you can see it. And this thing is real comfortable too. Uh, you see that moving right there it actually has just a little bit of suspension right here on the sides and uh this right here this pattern is actually really really comfortable and uh so i'm real excited about that and so another quick thing this is how i'm assuming that you would have to change the oil and everything like that um and so that's how you check your oil and then this actually pops off too and it gives you more open you can see this whole back um right here so that panel comes off that flips up and it allows you to work on all this right here so pretty neat pretty neat stuff there i want to show you that and then to lower this down you just pick up on that till it clicks and then this just lowers back into place there so pretty neat stuff uh i the only reason i knew it did that is because i've seen on some of the uh star series mowers um they have a or maybe it's the rights i'm not real sure but i've seen some stand-up mowers uh where this padding right here actually opens this way so i tried to open it it wouldn't open that way but i knew it came up somehow and uh, so i reached down there and pulled it up and it just came up so pretty neat there um they make this thing really easy to work on and that's what i like um all very simple and that that manual deck is probably honestly a good thing uh, because if they had put something here, that would just been one more thing to go wrong. So, but that is kind of a frustrating deal for me. Uh, but it's definitely, definitely not a deal breaker. So, real excited about this mower. Um, I'm about to go get the tripod and get it set up and let you see me run it a little bit. Kind of show you uh, kind of how it does and everything. And I'll actually mow a couple strips for you. So, that's that.
So that was me using the mower right there just around this tree, mulching up some leaves with the mulching kit because I got the mulching kit on there. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and mulch up a couple of leaves around this tree. Didn't want to do the whole yard because as you can see, that would that'd take a minute. And uh, so I didn't really want to go any further out too because that's got some nice stripes here. Didn't want to mess those up, but did a pretty good job. Uh, you can see that that mower has got some speed to it. Um, runs and drives very easy and it's just a great mower so like i said that's just a little sneak peek of uh me using it and everything i'll get a video out next week of me mowing with it and uh, you'll get to see a little more of it and everything like that and you'll see this mower in a lot more videos uh you'll see me use the bagger and the regular chute and everything like that and i had thought about getting an advanced chute system put on here but i'm not sure um how the advanced shoe system would work with the bagger and the mulching kit and everything like that which if i had the mul the thing i wouldn't need the mulching kit uh because the advanced shoe system would serve as a mulching kit um without the actual mulching kit on there so um like i said not real sure what i'm gonna do about that but you will definitely definitely be seeing this mower and more videos and everything like that so there it is All right, guys, appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, uh, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button too. Subscribers are doing real good, almost at 370. And uh, that's that's pretty good. We've jumped up pretty good in the past week or so. Let's keep it going. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family, go ahead and subscribe to me. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.